all right so we just finished talking about styling um styling the colors of 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 of, of this map okay so well what what i want to show you is um labeling because labeling is also a very important part of styling and so i'm just going to move to the labeling labels um tab okay now labels currently is at no labels that's why you're not seeing any labels here i just want to focus on single and rule based by now i'm sure you know what the difference is by now so if i select on single based rule, rules and labels what you get is it's going to it's basically going to label everybody and it's going to label everybody in the same style okay so let's label all of them by their name one okay name one if i hit enter it basically gives everybody a name okay name one now there are other parts of um of the other parts of what's the name of this labeling um tab that i actually enjoy using one of them is the buffer okay so for the buffer i i like to add a background or let me call it a buffer color to it so for every text i give it a certain buffer color maybe i could choose blue and then i apply like this okay although in this case looks like white to be the best option it looks like white to be the best option in this case so i apply white to each of them then it actually makes it look more presentable especially if it were um in a clumsy clumsy uh map this map is a little a bit clear so it's, it's presentable right so that's just it there are other ones uh, the placement for instance the, the, this one the polygons are big so there are incidents where you the labels do not enter the polygons so you have to come into the replacement and select the best type of replacement as you choose as you prefer so that it would either put the labels on the line in the line besides the line depending on which one you choose okay so this is what allows that now the rendering rendering basically um allows or tells the labels to appear at a certain skill and disappear at a certain skill so i could come there and say skill dependent then i'll choose um a certain scale let's say uh, currently we are at a scale of 100 so i could say at a scale of 50 to 150 like this so each they would appear between between these skills but outside beyond these skills they, they would the labels will go away but i don't usually use use this one unless that's a particular reason why most of the maps i design are for printing okay so i don't see why i should bother myself with the rendering all right so that's basically how how to use the label the single labels okay and i've just shown you you can add background color to your text you can add shadows to it and then like i already mentioned there the buffer now in the formatting you can change the uh, what's the name it, oh in the formatting you can if it's if the text are in sentences in the form of sentences you can enable the wrappings okay so but in this case it has been changed to no automatic wrapping you can enable the wrapping so that anyway these are not things you would usually see every day so i don't want to bore you with it um it's just it's just about overflow sometimes when a line cannot fit in, inside a polygon then it cuts it and sends it into the next line but what i want you to focus on is this text the buffer and maybe the placement okay so over here you can adjust the font size font style and size and then um, um, this font style right okay font style you can adjust the font style and down here where is it there's a font size somewhere good good there's a font style you can adjust the font size down here also okay um so that's it for single labels you can follow my videos by subscribing to the channel and consider leaving a thumbs up on this video thank you now for the rule based label is similar to what we were doing there's always a default rule you can choose to remove it in such a way that it will not apply labels to any of them okay let's say i only want the labels of volta and upper east to appear so i'm going to disable this one and i'm going to add my new rule okay 
and I'm going to set my rule here by saying that fields and values look for fields and values whose name one equals to then I get all then I say upper east okay or then I say name one equals to upper you can type it if you prefer equals to Volta like this right then I test my query to see if it works good it works then you can now come down here and give it a certain style of uh, formatting okay so i'm going to keep the default maybe perhaps give it a buffer i always like using the buffer give it a buffer color and raise it up a bit make it a bit dark oh, like this and then um i'll just hit okay and then i'll apply like this where is it put it up here no, it didn't appear. I missed something. Okay, label with I didn't enable this. So label with name one. Okay. So that's what you wanted to label them by. So it labels them by name one. Okay. So it's basically rule based, just like we did for the styling, rule based, whatever you want to have. But if you want all of them to appear, then you select the general one and then you apply also. So it will do the rest for each of them. You can as much as you want you can edit um, the styling for your particular um, your particular so let's say I'm going to change the color for this one to probably red like this and I could even make it font size oh, 14 like this and maybe bold just because I want to create a certain kind of emphasis okay so I could do that for them did it appear did it change I didn't see any changes, right? Test for two, okay. I didn't really see any changes. I'm guessing did I apply? Yeah, hit okay. Okay, by now I enabled the rendering. That's probably why. So it, it has applied to them. I'm not sure why I'm getting ah, okay, okay, yeah. It has applied to them. What you are, what you are not noticing is that the the general rule also has label. That's this upper east. Then I also came to give it uh, what's the name? This new one. So I could go here and then filter out. Maybe I could say accept a certain accept a certain um, value. Maybe accept upper east and Volta region. Then they would they would be ignored. Okay. So it's pretty much all about writing SQL SQL code and it's not difficult, it's just double click, double click, double click, and you are good to go. So that's it for single based styling and um, rule based styling. Okay. So let's I'll see you in the other videos.